Hey guys, it's Finn and I wanted to give you guys a close-up video of the paint job tool that is available on Black Ops 3 multiplayer. You see, in Black Ops 3, with the paint job tool, you're able to make a cool picture and slap it on the side of your weapon. Now, it doesn't have to be your emblem this time, it can be anything you want. Not just clan tag, not just the emblem in your player card, it can be whatever you want. Now, I did tool around with this tool a little bit during my Black Ops 3 live stream, and judging from my first impressions, it seems pretty cool. I mean, you can put symbols, pictures and letters, move them, rotate them, resize them, change their color, you know, the same way you could customize your emblem in the previous call to this. Now, as you can see from the video, you can't plant paintwork anywhere on your weapon, as there seems to be a sort of an area on which the symbols are only visible on. And if you exit that area, they become invisible. I mean, that's unfortunate, but hey, I'm still digging it. Now, I only made some quick experimental paintworks as the beta only lasts for 5 days, so I didn't want to put too many hours on this yet. However, if I do end up buying the full game, I can definitely see myself using this tool a lot more. And I'm sure that people who are more creative than me will make two pieces of art out of their weapons with this tool. I mean, gamers are really creative and talented people. And I'm also sure that thanks to this paint job tool, we are going to pick up a lot of assault rifles with pictures of penises, vaginas or boobs on the side of them. I mean, this is a kid's game after all. But luckily with Call of Duty, we are already used to that. So I created this fin slayer paintwork on my shotgun and I'm going to add a couple of images on the side of it as well. I mean fin slayer is supposed to be a pun made out of king slayer, but later I realized that it can actually be horribly misunderstood. I mean fin slayer, someone who slays fins. Finnish people. <laughs> and that's not the message I wanted to send here. I don't want to slay my own people, that's not what I meant. But anyways, as you can see, you can also name your paintwork, and here I go naming it Finn Slayer, completely oblivious of what kind of a horror I just created. But hey, look at that! You can also add paint to your secondary weapon. Now, what I'm actually experimenting here is I'm picking these large symbols and resizing them so much that they can actually go out of the borders of the paintable area leaving only abstract stripes and lines here and there, and then I recolor them to kinda make my own weapon camouflage. I'm sure there are a million better ways to do this than what I'm trying here, but I'm just trying to do something relatively quick, and it looks kinda cool to me. And while I was putting some paintwork on my knife, I actually discovered that you can put paintwork on both sides of your weapon, something I didn't notice while working my shoddy and handgun. As you can see, I put the space alien on this side, and on the other side, I will put this lion. I think it's lion at least, but yeah. If you have Black Ops 3 beta or you're thinking of getting it, I suggest trying out the paint job tool, it's really cool. Remember, you can just pre-order Black Ops 3 digital version to get your beta code and then after the beta is done, you can just cancel your pre-order and you won't need to pay anything. It's a win-win situation and I, I'm enjoying this game so far. I recommend you check it out as well. And here at the end of this video, you can see me using my paint job equipment in an actual game, so you guys kind of have an idea how it looks in game and how much of it is actually visible enough. And as you can see, the paintwork I made is on both of my shoddy and handgun, so yeah, that's cool. Now one bad thing I noticed about this tool is that it, it seems to me that all the paintwork you make will be tied to the weapon you make it on. So you can't just make one paintwork and copy paste it to all your weapons, I mean if that's the case here then that's unfortunate. But like I said, I only had the chance to try the paint up tool a little bit so I might be wrong. But still, I can definitely see myself using this tool a lot more if I end up buying Black Ops 3 full version when it comes out. I thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later.